Scammers pretending to be Amazon employees have conned Americans out of $27 million from June of 2020 through June of this year. About 96,000 people were affected by the scams. Under one of the scams, con artists would offer a refund to people for a supposed unauthorized purchase. The typical victim lost $1,000. Weekly unemployment benefit numbers show an improvement over last week. That, According to the Labor Department, unemployment claims fell by 6,000 to 290,000. That's the third weekly drop in a row and the fewest to apply for benefits since the pandemic worsened in March of 2020. However, the report also shows hiring has slowed in the past two months, even as a new record number of open jobs on the market. The Federal Aviation Administration is, is proposing longer rest times between shifts for flight attendants. The new rule proposed today would require many flight attendants receive at least 10 hours of time off before the next shift. Current rules require nine hours, but can be reduced to eight under certain circumstances. The rule would apply to those scheduled to work a shift of 14 hours or less. Scheduled shifts of more than 14 hours already require at least 12 hour rest periods. Southwest Airlines says its recent meltdown cost the airline $75 million. It pointed to problems earlier this month that led to the cancellations of more than 2,000 flights. The company's revenue also suffered due to the pandemic. Southwest believes it lost $100 million in sales in August alone because of the surge and $200 million in sales in September. Overall, third quarter revenue for the airline is down compared to pre-pandemic levels, but it is up 161% compared to a year ago. The U.S. Postal Service said changes it has made to its service has improved deliveries. Longer first-class mail delivery times went into effect October 1st. The USPS said it looked at the deliveries made between that date and October 15th. It says more than 91% of first-class mail was delivered on time. But that's compared to the Postal Service's entire fourth quarter. The amount of time you spend sleeping could be affecting your brain. Coming up next, the amount of time you should be dreaming to keep your clock ticking smoothly.